back guys, I'm back. It's been months since my last video, this COVID-19's been a pain in the ass when it comes to doing the aeroplanes. I'm just heading up to Dad's place now. Got a car load of goodies that have uh, arrived in the mail. Tires, wires, fuel lines, joysticks, so much stuff on back there that's arrived. Forward to seeing Dad and uh, the aircraft. Haven't been up, up here for, as I say, months. So it's, it's uh, the aircraft's come a long way since I last saw it. I have decided to uh, completely build the horn and stall in 3D with Infusion 360. So it's been good fun and a good learning curve. So the, the model that I've built, um, I can then uh, use it to. Design custom parts to the the Hornet. One being the, the engine mount. So this is the first time that a pair of momentum engines being um, inserted into a Hornet. So there's no engine mount for this um, for this engine and this uh, engine and aircraft combination. So um, I've now completely, uh, with the help of uh, Phil, to completely design our own engine mount. So that's the engine mount to suit the Hornet Skull and the Aero Momentum AM15. Which is uh, very cool. So to build the engine mount, I then put together a jig. So, which is just basically two plates. This <coughs> firewall plate, I'm going to install the five um, firewall pickup lugs on. And then I've got some plates in the middle here that separates this engine mount plate exactly at the right location for the four engine mount pickup lugs. So this will hold those five lugs, those four lugs in place and then we can just weld the steel bars in between and form the engine mount. As you can see that's how it's going to sit on the airframe. Very cool you can do this. I've also been working on the instrument panel, you can see there. Close look at it. It's a bit messy at this stage, but uh, that's going to be my layout. Room here for mobile phone, mobile phone here for passenger, UHF radio is going to go in here. Uh, basically, NGL MX1, the new relief is <coughs> going here, and just a nice big iPad Pro for my navigation. This has got navigation as well. This is the prime navigation source, and to utilize the space behind the panel, I'm going to make a glove box, as you can see here, and the iPad's going to fold down and be the glove box lid. It's also going to be cool as well, cooling the fan. I'm going to still be on the iPad. Switches, um, ignition system, two fuel pumps, and start. Yes. Rudder pedals are in and set up. I'm just testing a couple of uh, Airbus screw helicopter seats. And they're perfect. Perfect. The floor's in underneath that. All the control joystick systems are uh, working beautifully. Super light, super light controls. 
Got the fuel lines for life, aircraft spruce. I'm going subtle lines in the cockpit to try and avoid a bit of fuel vapor smells. Uh, static lines, about to install tonight. Today, Dad and I have just been working on the back end of the aircraft. Um, quite a complex little structure back here and support brackets with tail planes and so forth, but it's all coming together. Nicely. Yeah. Cheers. She's <laughs> fine. She's working. Support brackets, strong. Nice and strong now. Craft inspector here now, just checking out the build. <laughs> yeah. You're going to certify the build. Yeah, that's why I was signing this build. Yeah. <laughs> 